Yeah, I mean, my driving career started, I'm a third generation racing driver, uh, so very rich heritage in the blood and just, you know, incredible passion from a young age, but uh, getting opportunities, you know, was tough, like everyone, uh, but obviously came up through go-karts and uh, the next step was uh, Formula Ford, uh, fortunately had, you know, a passionate family that um, obviously got heavily involved and, you know, walked over uh, fire and, and broken glass to create opportunities for me and enabled me to uh, win the Australian Formula Ford Championship and, um, you know, every step's always a difficult one to make the right decision or not, but uh, yeah, went, went across to Europe, I had nearly four years in Europe trying to chase my Formula One dream and um, you know many obstacles and hurdles along the way many times i would have killed for an opportunity like this um, but it was all about grabbing every opportunity as it came taking it every day at a time uh, but when you, your heart's in it um, you know it's easy to work hard because uh, you sacrifice everything possible to to create opportunities so um, came back from europe and um, got offered a v8 supercar opportunity with Dick Johnson Racing and um, the rest is sort of history. Growing up, Ayrton Senna, absolutely Ayrton Senna. Um, you know, nowadays, it's hard, hard to say, but uh, modern day guy I respect the most would be Fernando Alonso. I think he's just the overall package. He's, um, you know, he's just uh, yeah, very well rounded, he's, he's smart, he's aggressive when he needs to be, smart when he needs to be, knows how to play the game, he looks like he's got his team on side, looks like he's respected by all his peers, um, so he yeah, looks like he's got a great work ethic, I just uh, respect the way he goes about things. 